The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson offers his deepest condolences to Britons who have lost relatives to coronavirus after official figures show the number of dead now exceeds 100,000. The government's chief scientific advisor once suggested the country might suffer 20,000 deaths back in mid-March. Even that was such a shock. Now, though, in the latest 24-hour period, 1,631 more deaths have been recorded of people who have died within 28 days of a positive COVID test. And that took the total across the UK to 100,162. Well, 20,089 new, 20, new infections are there recorded and 6.85 million people have now received their first dose of a coronavirus vaccine. Our headlines for you at six o'clock this morning. More than 100,000 dead from COVID. The Prime Minister says he's deeply sorry for every life lost. Minister, I take full responsibility for everything that the government uh, has done. Despite infections falling, the chief medical officer warns there will be a lot more deaths over the next few weeks. Travellers arriving in England from Covid hotspots around the world are to be told to quarantine in hotels at their own expense. The injustices which can be put right without spending too much. Good morning. A new report finds 1.3 million taxpayers excluded from government support schemes could be better help for a fraction of the current spend. The government says it's listening. Uh, the boss of the pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca says his firm is certainly not taking its coronavirus vaccine away from the EU to sell it elsewhere at a higher price. The company is facing criticism after it said its first delivery to the EU would be considerably smaller than planned because of temporary production problems. There are fears the dispute could affect the UK if the EU restricts exports of another vaccine made by Pfizer in Belgium. Um, the 100,000 people who have now died in the UK um, after coronavirus. Yeah, and um, no surprise that... That is where many of the papers are going this morning with their headlines. Almost every single one leads on that news. Um, I'm deeply sorry is the front page of The Guardian this morning. That's a headline there with a picture of a sombre Prime Minister from yesterday's press conference. It says that Boris Johnson is facing questions over how the UK reached one of the worst death tolls of the global pandemic. We will remember them is the headline for The Sun, which pays tribute to the fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters and grandparents who have been lost to the virus. The Times front page has a similarly powerful image showing the faces of some of the victims of the pandemic. It highlights comments from the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, who described the figure as a national tragedy. Online, the Independence headline says the death toll was absolutely avoidable, pointing out that the number of deaths has now exceeded those killed by the Great Plague, AIDS and every war since 1945.